diffuser, you'll need full access to the back of the machine. First, we'll start out by removing what we call the redrive cap. Next, remove the back paper path cover. Pull straight out. Uh, you might be better off pulling it out slowly one side at a time. And there are two screws down here we need to remove. Alright, set them where you won't lose them. And to remove the, the drive, the redrive, you'll need to push in the two tabs up the top there. And together pull them straight back, it comes out quite easily, and there you have removed that assembly. Next, you'll want to disconnect the cables. You have the one cable here on the middle. It will pull up rather easily, straight up, and unhook it down here so that you drop it out of the way. Now here you've got a locking tab on this uh, lamp cable. Push it down and it will slide out. Weave this up out of position. Also, I forgot the fuser cover. It needs to come out. Okay, now that uh, we have the wires undone, we can undo the screws. Once again, two screws down on each side. Now the fuser is loose and it will just simply pull straight out quite easily. Unweave the uh, cable for the fuser lamp and we're done. Now we'll simply reverse that to put the new one in. Put the fuser lamp cable through that same hole it came out of. Slide the fuser up into place and push it in until you can see that the tab down here is all the way to the front. It'll look the same on the both sides. Okay, now we can hook up our cables. That, is, that one is key. There's only one way to get it in. This will lay up naturally in its correct position. Push it gently down. It doesn't take a lot of force. If it doesn't feel like it's going right, realign it. Now we will install the fuser mounting screws. And these don't take a lot of pressure. Next we put our redrive up in place. When you do this it's usually helpful to get the bottom in a little bit ahead of the top. And you push the top in until both tabs lock. Next we can put our redrive screws in. All right. Our back cover line up. You have the tab and the catch. Same. It'll be the same on the other side. Push that up. Put in our fuser cap, you have your tab to lock it. To put the redrive cap on, here you'll see on, on what is now the right side, we've got two tabs that go into slots here. On the other side, we've got the two prongs that will come down into this groove. And it once again pushes in very easily. And that's all that's required. Now we can plug the machine in and test it.